And now we have the special report by our reporter Kun Sathapat Pathong on the bribery law. A survey by Thai Institute of Directors or IOD shows that 93% of business companies in Thailand see corruption nowadays is at a high or very high level and up to 76% admit that bribery is the corruption forms that most happens in Thailand. Unfortunately, the country does not have the specific laws against bribery while some other countries do. For example, the United States has the U.S. Foreign Corruption Practices and the United Kingdom has the U.K. Bribery Act. So to get rid of corruption and bribery, Thailand has to amend the laws and business companies also have to comply with those laws. The Thai Institute of Directors, or IOD, hosted a seminar under the topic How New Foreign Bribery Laws Affect Companies in Thailand, which invites experts to share their views on the issue. What is most concerning is corruption in the country. As one of the experts said, widespread corruption in Thailand was a fundamental cause of political violence and the widening income gap between the rich and the poor. In addition, anti-corruption laws in Thailand are not as strict as in developed countries. And Thailand does not have specific laws against the bribery, which is widely used among business companies to win business advantage. While the United States the United Kingdom and Germany have anti-corruption laws prohibiting their firms from offering bribes to foreign politicians and officials. As bribery is considered as one of corruption forms which create economic rents, and it will put many negative impacts on the economy, Thailand has to review the laws and finally amend them in order to be ready for global standard against corruption. Inspired by the foreign anti-corruption laws, chairman of Patara Capital, Ban Yong Pong Panit, said such laws imposed by developed countries will help developing countries like Thailand to get rid of corruption concerns. He focused on economic rents believed to lessen if corruption is prevented. He expressed his idea that the foreign anti-corruption laws are clearer than Thailand's law. While Chairat Kanitabut, Director of Legal Affairs Bureau, Office of National Anti-Corruption Commission, said Thai corruption laws do not correspond to foreign laws. So what Thailand has to do now is amend the laws in order to be ready for the world's changes. The new Anti-Corruption Act focusing on bribery is now in the process. Chairat added that, as Thailand signed in the United Nations Convention Against Corruption, it has to comply with the agreement and should improve the country's laws. Other concerns about corruption among Thai society are attitude and norm towards corruption. But it would take a long time to improve, according to Chai Rat. Turning to impacts of the UK bribery law on Thailand, Pisawan Achanapon Gun, country chairperson of the Shell Company of Thailand, said, that the new UK bribery laws will create anti-corruption awareness in the country. She emphasized that collaboration from every sector is much needed. Youth, as well as law enforcement, are expected to play a big role. Along with Pisa One, Ban Yong added that media should be used as a significant tool to monitor corruption by doing investigating report, and civil society sector is also expected to work together. Sathapat Pathong, reporting for ASEAN Newsroom.